You're watching Big Ty. Alright, we're back with another retro review. Today we're doing the Battlehawk skin. You got this in uh, Chapter 1, Season 4. Uh, tier 1, uh, you would... Uh, they're I guess Carbide and Battlehawk are both Tier 1 skins. Um, that's when they used to do that. They don't do that anymore, from what I can remember recently. Um, last one I think was... Uh, chapter 2 Season 2 I think um, That was the last time they did two skins at tier 1 um, Don't quote me on that But I'm pretty sure that was the last time we had that But uh, anyways The Battlehawk skin, basically the knockoff Thor He basically has nothing in a set He's a part of the Advanced Forces set um, There is stuff in that set But not particularly for him um, It's for the other skin in the Battle Pass Which is the I forget the name but whatever The other one uh, the tier 81. Um, but yeah, so we have the Battlehawk skin. The throwback axe. Uh, we're using and wet paint for the glider. Um, and then boogeyman for the wrap. Um, yeah, there really isn't anything in a set, so I can't really use it. It's mainly for the other guy in the battle pass. So, um, yeah, that's really about it. I guess we can get in the reveal. Let's do it. Alright, so we have the Battlehawk skin, throwback axe of the pickaxe, because I feel like it was the bot skin of the season. You know, you had Carbide or this. Uh, I feel like people that use this were more bot-like than Carbide, uh, even though I feel Carbide was used more. Um, but whatever. Pickaxe. the throwaway skin I feel in the battle pass you know people used them like day one and then like never used them again I haven't used the skin probably since season four if I just joked around using the skin it's like a meme or something but I can't remember it's been so long It's a weird color. ADS is not bad. Alright, let's do some healing items. If I could pick up the right things. Right. What am I missing? Oh, big, okay. Slurp. Juice. Blah. Mini. Just bit. Alright. Big. Medkit. Glider, okay. got the wet paint, the victory umbrella. I hate this glider. Such a bad one for the victory umbrella. Forward. Backwards, left, right. I think it's fine. Like, if they removed all the spray paint marks and just kept it the color, the, like, red it is, I think it would be a good glider, but ugh, the, the spray paint and the graffiti just made, ruins it. I guess it was for the season, but I feel like they could have done something superhero-related instead of technique-related. Sprays were big in that season, even though they're useless. It's the only cosmetic item that still doesn't have a use. We have the banner stuff, we have the emoticons with the superhero stuff. Now we just need some use for the sprays. Primal. So yeah, it's... I don't think it's that bad. It's basically just the Thor skin. 
like the one from Endgame or Infinity War. No, Infinity War. Yeah, not Endgame. Endgame's the other one. Um, yeah, it's got the eye patch. Literally looks like Thor. Um, there's really nothing else to say about him. It's not a bad skin. Like I've said, I've seen worse and I've reviewed worse. Um, I really have nothing else to say. I think the problem is, at least with the skins I hate, I have like an opinion. Like, okay, this skin is nasty and it's disgusting, but this skin, I, I, I'm not dis disgusted at it. It's not bad, but it is so boring that I have nothing to say. So take that as you will. Um, it's a fine skin, but what the hell am I supposed to say about it? I don't think it's the best skin in the game, but I don't think it's the worst either. It's in the middle of the road, you know. If it's the worst, then I can criticize why it's bad, but well, this guy, I I can't. There's nothing I don't like about this skin. Um, I can just call him the, the worst skin. That's really all I can say. But, uh, yeah, we'll go in the creative hub, and I will tell you, did you miss out on the Battlehawk skin? Let's do it. Alright, so we're in the creative hub now, and I would tell you, did you miss out on the Battlehawk skin? Um, I wouldn't say, um, you did. Only if you really like the reference, how they're referencing Thor from Infinity War. But after that, it's like, it's just another military skin. We have a lot of military skins. Uh, let me do the emote for the thumbnail. We'll do the, um, the boogie down. I feel like that's the bot emote from that season. All you had to do was verify your account, and you got it, so. You still get it, too. It's not a bad emote, but it's so overplayed because it's the bot emote. You hear it all the time because it's free. All you have to do is verify your account with 2 uh, hey. Um. But yeah, I have nothing really to say. It's just this bland skin, you know? It's nothing. I can't critique it. It's like, it's fine. Um, I don't think it's the worst skin ever created. Yeah, it doesn't look too good. You know, I'm not saying it's the best skin ever created, um, but it, like, it's not bad. I'm not gonna say it's horrible. Um, it's just kind of, eh, whatever. You know, uh, there's nothing else to really say about it. Um, did you miss out? No, there's so many military-related skins in this game that are probably better than this. Um, item drop-wise, battle pass-wise, uh, they they just do a lot of military skins. Even the default skins I would count as military skins. Um, they have like the the camo pants. Uh, I think kind of the same ones that this guy has, but not, you know, too similar. They have the dog tag, you know, I feel like the defaults are pretty good for military skins. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, the munitions expert, I'm pretty sure, that one's a pretty decent military skin. Um, yeah, there really isn't that much to say about the skin. I think it's fine, but I don't think you're missing out either, if you never got it. But yeah, that's really about it for this, um, retro review. See ya. Sub if you liked the content. If you enjoyed the video leave a like. Follow Big Tie on social media if you want to see random shit.